Nestled in historic downtown Apex, there's a place where you can experience the wonders of craft beer. Enjoy a wide selection of beers from North Carolina, the U.S., and around the world. And it's only at the Beer Dispensary. Hi, everyone. This is Dave with NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos to give you a little experience about what's available across the state. Maybe a new brewery out of an existing brewery, maybe a new brewery. We, you just never know. It's all over the place. Today we're visiting a relatively new brewery. A couple well, of years, he's, couple he's been, years in now. Yeah, yeah, he's not new anymore. He's, uh, he's all in, back. In Apex, mm -hmm. at the Brewprint Brewery. And they've done something new this year with a, a bottle release on a beer that's one of their flagships, the Midnight Brew. And now they have whiskey barrel aged it and also done a wow. cherry version. Yeah. So we're going in one sitting just sample one, but we'll talk about both. Sure. So uh, for you guys who don't know, Blueprint Brewing is located at 1229 Perry Road in Apex. And both versions of this wonderful brew not, uh, Midnight Brew Stout is described by the brewery as a smooth stout. This is the base version to keep your warm winter, your winter warm with hints of coffee, chocolate, and dark fruit. Available early December through March 6th. That's the regular Midnight Brew. Mm -hmm. So now they've bottled two limited release versions of the same stout, part of their Brewtopia series. The Cherry Midnight Brew, aged in whiskey barrels with the North Carolina Rainier Cherries, and the Midnight Brew Imperial, aged in whiskey barrels. Both were recently available in limited edition bottle runs, and we happened to get our hands on them. That's so. right. So, for you guys who are Dave Poor and don't, who don't know the story of Brewprint, it actually started uh, some years ago in Eric's kitchen, Eric Wagner, who's the owner, and he combined his passion for talent and talent for gourmet cooking with over 20 years of engineering expertise. He was a water engineer and water treatment uh, business. And he says, quote, Who knew that brewing delicious beer was so similar to the science of treating water? The process of releasing enzymes to break down starches into sugar and fermenting the sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide is second nature to a water engineer. While balance and delicious flavors is what a gourmet cook does, strives for. Hence, the brew print for great beer is born. Eric's unique combination of talents led the way for the one of a kind handcrafted beer, each as original as a fingerprint. Brew print, blue print, fingerprint. Mm -hmm. get, get, get print, print, print. Uh, better than a recipe, a brewing brew print combines science and great culinary skills to create a brew print. Boy, that was a lot to get through. I'm ready for some beer. Yep. So we opened the cherry, as we said, because you guys who follow us for a while, you know, Dave's a flavor kind of guy. He likes the flavors. That's right. Flavor, flavor. And so we're going to see what these uh, whiskey barrels, so we haven't had actually the, just the whiskey yet. No, we're, doing, we're going right for the flavor. So we're, we're jumping, we might should have done the other, but we kind of, yeah. that's not who we are, we would go for this one. Go for the over the top. And we, we've got this and we will drink this, we probably won't do a video, but we might talk about it on Twitter. So follow us all and see what you think of that's the regular. Right. And of course, we love the Midnight Brew. I mean, we've oh, had yeah, that beer several times, we awesome. love that, that's a great beer. Yep. Yep. So what is the aroma? And you did nice pour, sounds good. I did a great pour. Beautiful, dark. Yeah. It's, Nice. Mid midnight. <laughs> oh. What do you got? Cherries. Do you got cherries? Uh, yeah. I think my nose is kind of... You get, yeah, you get that fruitness right away. Okay. Sweet okay. fruit. a cherry. I mean, I know... My nose is kind of defunct. <laughs> I think, you know, of course, mind over matter, you know if cherries in it, you smell cherries, but I think you do. Ooh. You taste the cherries. I didn't tell you this. Uh, you might have remembered it from other discussions. Cherries... My least favorite flavor, probably. I don't like cherry pie. I don't like chocolate covered cherry. I don't like cherry. But I'm, but I'm not getting. So I wasn't sure I'd like this at all. Mm -hmm. but I do get some cherry essence. But yeah, it's not. It's not but like it's not a fruit, crazy fruit beer at all, even no. to me. It's not a crazy fruit beer. No. It's it's just it has the little bit of flavor just to let you know that it's there. And we we did let these warm up a little bit before we open them, but maybe not enough. It actually, if we'll talk a few more minutes, it might uh, enhance the flavor to warm to eat. We could have used your fancy stout glasses. Yes. The thinner stout glasses. Yeah, to make them warm up faster. Uh, yeah, because the thinner glass, of course, your, your body heat can get to them better. 
and it should enhance all the flavors if they warm up. Oh yeah, so don't, with any with any stout or right. porter, don't you, pull it just out of the refrigerator and, and pop it right it. open. No. Well, I mean, you can, and it might be wonderful, but it won't be as wonderful as it's going to be if you let it properly in the glass. Right. I mean, I, I've seen you know if you pull significant out significant yeah, differences. If you if you pull out a stout or a porter and you just drink it, you know, it comes out of the refrigerator, you pour it and drink it. The flavor profile is so much different than if you let it warm up a little bit, right. you know, doing this. So you're hanging out, you talk with your friends for a little bit. And even if you're at the bar and pull it off the tap. Right. Draft. Just, just let it sit on the counter for a little bit. You yeah. know, again, talk to the bartender, talk to your buddy, talk to whoever's there, or right. just let it sit there. Let it warm because up. Because it's worth the experience. Do not rush craft beer. Right. Craft beer is to be experienced. Well, right. I mean, but certain ones, you know, they said the darker beers you want to sit so you get the flavor separation, you get the flavor enhancements as it warms up. I mm. mean, an IPA, I don't want to warm up. I want that to I want that to be cold. It doesn't do any better and warm anyway. Right, so I mean, it's so the these difference. these uh, we know from experience that when you let it warm up, it's it almost becomes a different beer. Well, it's, it's a much different uh, palate experience, mm -hmm. and different people have that same experience in very different ways as mm -hmm. they let it warm up. Right, but you know, as we've said a million times, palate to palate, everybody's got a different flavor profile that they kind of go for the experience. Mm -hmm. But everybody will experience it more warm yes. than, than cool because the enzymes and, and it's just not broke down. Mm. Um, I really like this. See, it does. And I wouldn't let the cherries, if you're not a cherry fan, don't let the cherryness put you off. It's just a nice yeah, it, fruitiness, sweetness on the back. A slight enhancement mm -hmm. that you... That I kind of really would like this <laughs> <laughs> because I love the whiskiness of this, right. which again is not overly powerful. Right. It's not like you just soon have a shot because <laughs> it's not really beer. It's more... It you get so much whiskey like some of these bourbon flavored beers. Oh, yeah. It's not right. that. Right. Or at least this one is not. Right. Um, it it's just be. so nice mm -hmm. to get both. Well, it, it can't really be because this is the same thing as that, except just with the cherries. Cherries, cherries. that's right. right. So, yep. It's as it warms up. Yeah, it's, it's nice, very good. That nice very flavor good. enhancement. It's so, a, it's patience from a, with a prize. Oh, that's good. <laughs> delayed, delayed gratification. That's right. I don't know, honestly, if the bottles are still available. We've had these for a little while and it has been out for a bit. Well, hopefully they have And I don't know how limited it was. Right. But if you don't get your chance to get your own bottles of these, and it was pretty widely available, at least in the Triangle area, um, think about it next year because I feel like they'll do this again. Mm -hmm. And if they don't do these, they'll do something else because they're calling it a Brutopian series. So there'll be some other barrel aged. Some other things that are aged. Sure, why not? And if you walk in the back now, blueprint, you still have all, the all these barrels that you didn't <laughs> used to have. Yep. So they're into this and going to do some more of these. So you know, when you're in the bottle shop or looking around, you know, you look for your kind of your labels that you know and love. And these are not their usual labels. Right. So you kind of pay attention because everybody doesn't stock on the shelves by brewery. Mm -hmm. You got to know what you're doing sometimes and be a little educated as a consumer. Right. But look for a blueprint product that's new and different, and you, I think you'll love these. Yep very good yep so uh, we're gonna save this one for another time mm -hmm. so thanks Eric for everything you're doing at Blueprint and we look forward to being back with you and we'll remind our viewers that until next time this is David Lynn and drink local very local for us in Apex mm -hmm. and keep your beer dollars North Carolina <laughs>